This next place is certainly very interesting to say the least. It's a diner that's hidden behind a bakery in the back of a sub shop. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert all under one roof at ridiculously low prices with insanely huge portions. So why the heck haven't you been to Vicks? For almost 50 years, Vicks has been the best kept secret in Lowell, with a breakfast joint in front, a sub shop in back, and a bakery in the middle. And for those in the know, this place has always been the home of the big one. When you get a sub here, you get a sub. You get a giant sub. Bob Delfon works the grill, his wife Deb runs the register, and they turn out oversized, overstuffed 18-inch subs packed with everything from juicy steak and char-grilled cheeseburgers to sauce-smothered meatballs and perfectly pink roast beef. We don't even have a plate big enough to put this on. You'd have to put this on your Christmas platter. Everything else at Vicks is big, too, from the hand-tossed pizzas with homemade sauce to the hearty breakfast served up in the 100-seat diner. They've known Vicks to be the home of the big one for a long time, and we're not going to change it. It works. And joining us now are Deb and Bob Delfon from Vix and Lowell. Now, of course, you say you're the home of the big one, Deb. Everyone yeah. understands that's the place to go for cheesesteaks especially. You definitely do the biggest ones I've ever seen, but you got to tell me, what, what is the big difference between your cheesesteaks and Vix and basically everyone else's cheesesteak? They are monstrous. Two people can barely finish one. Now, I know it's, it's, it's like 18 inches long. That's huge. I don't know how long a typical sub is. I mean, how much longer and how much more does this thing weigh, do you think, than a typical sub? I think our subs range in between two and three pounds for a steak and cheese. If you can eat two or three pounds of meat, good luck. <laughs> I can. Don't you dare. Don't dare me, Dad. I'll, I'll do it. Bob, the, uh, you got to tell me about how these things are cooked. We saw some of those shots of the grill. I mean, ordering one of these subs almost takes up the entire grill. It's pretty insane. It, it is insane. And when we get busy, we get really busy, and it's a lot of fun. But w what makes us different, we uh, have a great proximity to a butcher shop, so our steak is fresh every day. We cook in all the onions, all the peppers, all the mushrooms. We caramelize the onions. Everything mixes together, and bam, you know, it's just a great taste when it hits your mouth. Yeah, there's nothing worse to get one of these subs, and all of a sudden you get cheese in one bite, steak in another, and onions in the other. You pretty much get every ingredient in every single one of these bites. In fact, the, the steak and cheeses have become so popular at Vicks that you guys have expanded. Uh, you do pizzas as well. Yep. And you do a steak and cheese or a steak bomb pizza? you got to explain this thing. No, well, we do a hand-tossed, thin-crust Italian-style pizza. We have two sauces, so you could go either way with a sweet sauce or a zesty sauce. The nice thing is we do up our cheesesteak bomb on the grill, pull the pizza out about halfway through, put it on there, put it back in the oven, bake it up some more, oh. comes out smoking good. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. It's actually tastier to eat, though, I have to say. I don't even care what it looks like as long as it tastes good. Now, like we mentioned, you guys have this uh, a diner, sort of, as part of the Vicks, uh, the Vicks Megaplex, as I like to call it. Now, at the diner, you do tons of huge portions for breakfast, a hearty place to go. But I've never seen, and it, a lot of restaurants have a lumberjack. They call that their big breakfast. Right. You might have the biggest lumberjack I've ever seen. What, what's on this thing? Our lumberjack is stacked with Two eggs, any style you like. Yeah. It's got either French toast or two jumbo-sized pancakes. Yeah. It's got home fries, beans, a little bit of both if you like it. It's got the toast. <laughs> it's just a massive amount of food. Now, how much does this cost? You come in, you want to get a lumberjack. How much does this cost? It's about seven twenty-five right now. Now, that's a pretty good deal, I have to say. To go to Lowell, I will take the trip to Lowell without a doubt to get myself a lumberjack. Just for those, just the pancakes alone. Some places in Boston, they'll charge you seven twenty-five for a stack of pancakes like that. Now, I, here's the thing. I don't care how big the portions are, especially at breakfast. If I'm coming to Vicks, if I'm going to Lowell, I walk in, I'm getting a coffee roll. Even if I get the lumberjack, because you got, I've never seen a, a coffee roll like this one, Bob, to talk about this thing. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Again, homemade like everything is in our bakery. My little joke, it's not, it's not a coffee roll, it's a coffee loaf. <laughs> It's huge, and, and people get it, and it's grilled. It comes out golden brown. It's it's just it's delicious. Now you say it's the the key here to me is not just the size, but like you said, it's grilled. So then, if you bite into that thing, what's it? You know, what's the sensation like? It's yeah. delicious. It's crunchy on when you bite into it. It's sweet. It's got the butter melting. It's got the flavor of the icing. It's, it's delicious. And again, you can only get it at Vicks and Lowell. Bob and Deb uh, Delphon, thank you very much for coming yes. in. And now I'm going to go to town on my own lumberjack.